Hello everyone and welcome to another redstone tutorial with Kes. And what I've got for you today guys is not a simple 2x2 door as it seems like. <laughs> but as you can see it looks like a, a really normal 2x2 door. Um, this is not actually my idea what I'm about to show you. I saw it on a video by Zizum of Void. And what this door is, is an inception door because as this door is flush with the wall, you only know that it's here because I highlighted those blocks. Uh, there is another secret door within this uh, secret door. So if I stay here in the middle of the door and I try to close it, I will drop here to this small platform and this could be a secret place on our base and you could hide lots of stuff. But if you try to use the door from some somewhere else, Nobody will be able to see that there is a secret entrance on the floor, guys. Yeah, so as I said, this idea was not mine. And all I did, all I've done was to compact the system to be very small. And actually, we can have a look at the redstone right here. As you can see, it's almost a simple jab door, but with some few additions. So, yeah, that's a simple thing to do and there is redstone floating there so this reminds me that we should make a tutorial for this right so let's go so yeah guys I've got here with me everything that I need to show you guys how to build it so let's start by making this 2x2 two two wall of sticky pistons and four blocks from that you place another wall just like this mirrored and then place those two blocks here and those two here just like this and let's connect everything just like this with this simple shape redstone does here and here repeaters and more redstone does here and set those on two ticks and this one should be facing this way so now this is a simple jab door it closes and it, it's it would be completely hidden in a wall so we can actually break this lever here and do it like this and extend your redstone dust here. If you want to use a lever here, it's just to show how it works, of course. If you want to do a hidden door, you would not use your lever here. Yeah, so it works. So now how can we modify this door to be an inception door? So just place two more stick pistons down here and two here, two solid blocks here. Actually, those don't need to be solid blocks. Let me explain you quickly what I mean. Uh, when you are here, if I now switch to uh, survival mode, if I stand here and flick the lever, I will drop to this platform and let me go back into creative mode. So now, whoops. Uh, what happens if I stay here? Instead of standing here, if I stand like here, uh, sometimes it will give me suffocation, suffocation damage. Whoops! And I place the block here, and then now ha you have to watch me breaking it. Finally, yes, as you can see, I took suffocation, su suffocation damage there. So one way to avoid this is by using something that's not actually solid here, like stairs uh, facing the back side. Whoops! This is not going to open because this lever is closing it. Or maybe you can just use uh, the secret door from this side, eliminating those pistons here and using only those two blocks. So, um, guys, let's continue. And it's going to be very easy to do. First, let's change those blocks into slabs. And don't worry, I will explain how all that stuff works soon enough. So just place redstone on top of those things, a redstone torch here, and redstone dust here, and redstone dust here. Yeah, redstone torch, and again, and it is finished. So as you can see, when the door is open, the floor is there. Uh, when you try to close it, it opens insta instantly. So what I tried to make here is to have those pistons synchronize it with those pistons so nobody would be able to notice uh, that this is a inception door 
because there is no uh, sound difference. So let's try it. Uh, actually, we have to change those into three ticks. And now, when we open, the floor will close first. Yeah. And you won't be able to notice any difference in the sound, and it's only one tick difference to a normal jab door. Also, it works in any orientation and it works on bucket, so it's really, really useful because it's resource friendly, compact, and also this. Uh, this area down here is flat, you don't have to hide any redstone here, which means that you can have whoops, an entire floor down here without any problems uh, to aesthetics. And well, I tried to, to make it really cool and I think it worked out pretty well. So yeah, <laughs> the tutorial is really quick guys. Um, uh, before the end of this video, I just want to mention that I now have uh, an, uh, a Twitter account and there is a link in the description so please if you have Twitter follow me because I will be posting lots of stuff there this uh, the latest days I was not able to post any videos but I was uh, posting lots of cool stuff there usually I post pictures of what I am working on currently so if you guys want to know what I've been doing lately just follow me on Twitter and it should be cool yeah so that's it for today guys i hope that you enjoyed watching this video please make sure to leave a like to help me and thank you very much bye bye i'm going to the sun hallo meine verachten abonnenten das hier und heute wieder mit einem redstone tutorial also willkommen